Hey there, Love Them Knives channel. What do you think, guys? Maybe I don't want to know because this knife is just a little easy to grab and go fixed blade. Lavoco Knives is the brand, okay? Ivan Bragnitz is the designer and Fang and, um, I'm not going to say his whole name, but you can buy it on Fang's site. Fang has got a he's got a um, AliExpress store, so on AliExpress you can go on his store and you can buy this knife for like thirty-one bucks, thirty-two bucks, something like that. So it's a small fixed blade knife, D2 steel, and yes, these are probably screwed through the tang of the knife. It's not a full tang knife. It it slenders down and comes through it's not a rat tail necessarily but you, you see what i'm saying and if you click on the site uh and scroll down far enough through the pictures it'll show you the disassembly uh, of this knife so you'll be able to see how that works through but it should be a pretty solid knife obviously it's not a heavy bush crafting knife but this would be a small knife for you know, small game, dressing out, whatever, that kind of thing. And D2 steel. This is his design. Now, Ivan has got an Instagram site, and I'll give you the link to his Instagram site. But he also was the designer of the Apologist. This is a picture of my my cover picture for my review of the Apologist, which is multi-row ceramic bearings, really nice knife, incredible, smooth, S35VN titanium. This is a beautiful knife, okay? He did that. So that's available on that same store and on other stores there. In uh, But he also, for real steel, designed the Havra knife, okay? Carbon fiber, S35VN, numbered edition, multi-row ceramic bearings. Very smooth. And he also, for real steel knives, designed the Relic, which is a throwback to a European hunting knife type thing. Thus, you know, you got the shotgun shell extractor on the end, right or left hand tip down carry, marbled uh, uh, carbon fiber slabs on this titanium with... S35VN flat grind type blade. Really good looking design. And he did the, the bullet knife or caliber. Caliber, not bullet. Uh, that was a different designer. That was Henneke. But in any case, so he did the caliber for Wii knives, which I don't have a picture of, but also coming soon. The Kaiser Odin, another Ivan Bragnitz design. So, after all that hootie do, he did this fixed blade knife for Lavoco, where he did the Apologist, which the Apologist, I think, is one of my favorite knives that he's done, period. I mean, I haven't had my hands, obviously, on the Odin, because that won't be released until 2019, uh, apparently, from what I hear. But uh, the Apologist, I've had all the others in my, in my hand. The Caliber, you know, the Havron, the Relic, and all that. And I, I, I think I like the Apologist better. And it's only 135 bucks. So, um, in any case, here's this knife. And you can disagree with me on that. I mean, that's okay. We can, we can have differing opinions. But, you know, you got the tech lock thing back here. And you've got a Kydex-ish type sheath that it kicks into. So, 32 bucks, Free shipping. No tax. Maybe. And it comes in black as well as orange. Oh, by the way, got a picture of that too. So, yeah, and the black has got kind of a black wash looking blade. And I wish I would have found the picture of it disassembled. It, I, I swear to God, I thought I had it in here. But, of course, I didn't. So, in any case, um, let me see if I got... Uh, give you the stats on it real quick in case you want to back it up and pause and read this stuff. Okay. So, nettle, fixed blade, Ivan Bragnitz, Ukraine, and Fang. It is a 
produced by Bear Claw Cooperative Factory, 100% of real material, finished mill, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 185 millimeter total length, 88 millimeters, so about a three and a half inch blade, uh, about a four inch uh, handle. So not a real big long knife uh, at all, but uh, apparently D2 at 59 to 60 HRC, 98 grams, very light, very light. Uh, and let's check it out. Let's just bring the the paramilitary two out here. Bigger knife, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Check that out. Okay, flip them around because the PM two will look bigger in this aspect ratio. But get them pivot to pivot. Yeah, definitely different, huh? Yeah. So, you know, this kind of looks bigger until you put it up against something like that and then you realize it's not a very big knife. Three and a half inch blade, yeah. 90 millimeters overall, seven and a half inches. So almost an inch shorter, not quite, three quarter of an inch shorter than the PM2 and 19 centimeters overall. Now, come alive folks, come alive. Well, I'll turn you on that way then. Zeroed out, okay. Blade stock, mm, about three millimeter, 0.117 of an inch, and handle thickness, right out at the very points here, almost six tenths of an inch, 0.58, which is almost 15 millimeters. So there you go. And, ooh, weight, weight, very important on this knife. It's a very, very light knife. Very easy to handle. Feels good in the hand. At least you can kind of go forward a little bit with this front choil. 3.2 ounces. 90, or basically 91 grams. So, very light. Very light. And of course, you could kick this tech lock. In, over from an up and down aspect to a cross draw if you wanted to. Fairly short, not a big, big knife here anyhow. So it could probably be carried that way if you wanted to. Could you EDC it? Maybe. You've got a lanyard hole back here. And it's all, you know, the holes come through the back or through the sides. They all connect. That kind of thing. Yeah. Nice grind. Will it cut anything? I don't know. Let's see if we got a piece of paper around here. Okay. This one seems to be relatively sharp. Right out of the box. Yeah. Okay, comes in a very plain looking box, nothing fancy there. Get out of there, boys. Come on, get out of here. Um, nothing fancy, just like that. Just some wrap. This goes in there too. But, you know, like I said, 32 bucks. Very light, very usable. Go forward, fine detail work, not a heavy bushcraft knife. It's got, you know, it's got some texturing on here for grip. Looks like it should be easy to disassemble if you want to do so. Got jimping here on the top and the bottom of the back part of the uh, handle and also on the top part of the blade for a little bit more contact. Grip. Cool little knife. I just thought I'd throw it in um, because it was Ivan. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But Ivan designed it, and I'm just curious because here he's doing these designs for all these major companies like We, Kaiser, Real Steel, those kind of guys. So I'm going, and then the Apologist, which Nobody needs to apologize for that knife. That is a that is really that's a hell of a knife. 
That's a hell of a knife for 135 bucks, my friends. Because um, all the stuff he's doing with Kaiser and Wee and Real Steel, those are excess of 200. Those are kick two, 220 to 280 in the butt all day long. So you know what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes you could find the gems. And this is a fixed blade, super light, really easy to use. Looks like it could do piercing, slicing. So, yeah, kind of a cool little design. Nice knife. But, you know, it came from Ivan. I'll give you the link to his uh, Instagram. You know, message him. Strike up a conversation. He, he lives in Ukraine. And uh, he comes from a family of engineering people. He's an engineer. So... There you go. I mean, I guess then, you know, you know how to run the software. You know how to do the designs. Have at it. I wish I could. I ain't that smart. I'm just a low-life knife shanker, you know? I'm just clunking along here and there, right? Flanny. Yeah, yeah. But you guys, take it easy. I'm going to let you go. I'll be back with another review. One of these days, if you want to call them reviews, I kind of call them videos because I'm not overly sophisticated and I'm definitely not a knife maker or a metallurgist. So I just know what I like and that's how I present it to you. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like. That way it'll keep you up on all the crazy, weird, new and different stuff that comes across this channel. And you never know. You never know what you're going to see next on this channel. Take care, my friends. You know what we do. We love them knives. Mm-hmm. So stay sharp.